Hi friends, welcome to Sri Sai IT Hub. In this video of Core Java Programming, we are going to discuss the following topics. Classes and objects in Java Programming. So first of all, let us start with classes in Java Programming. So what is class? Okay. So class. Okay. So class is nothing but collection of data members and methods. A class is a collection of data variables. Okay. So data variables or you can also call it as data members or properties okay so class is a collection of data variables data members or properties and methods so methods means functions okay methods means functions as a single unit okay as a single unit so class is nothing but encapsulation so we have seen what is encapsulation encapsulation says that every product has two things data as input functionality as usage so in java we call functions as methods okay so functions means methods in java okay so here we call them as methods right so class is nothing but implementation okay implementation of encapsulation encapsulation principle of object oriented programming okay so it is nothing but implementation of encapsulation principle in object oriented programming right so now how to define a class okay how to define a class so to define a class we use class keyword so class is the keyword use it to define a class in java program okay right so the syntax goes like this class followed by class name okay right so class followed by class name and inside this we have to write data variables or data members okay and we have to write the methods so methods means functions so we can write any number of methods as per the requirement in the program so class is a collection of data members and methods so we can take a formula like this class is equals to data members plus methods methods are nothing but functions in java okay right so we can call a class as a model before creating the object okay right so a class is like a model or design or blueprint okay model design blueprint before creating actual product okay so before creating actual product we make the design of a product so that is nothing but class so we can call all these as classes in real life model design blueprint so let us take an example for this okay so construction of a house example 
construction of a house so for constructing a house or building you can say so what civil engineer will do so civil engineer will make a blueprint of the house okay so blueprint of the house or building is class okay right so once the blueprint is okay then we have to construct the physical house or building so that is nothing but object okay so blueprint is nothing but house blueprint of a house or building is nothing but a class okay right and constructed okay constructed house the physical constructed house physical constructed house is object okay is nothing but object so blueprint of a house is nothing but class and physical constructed house is nothing but object okay right so let us take one small example of a class right so example of a class i am going to take a student class so class followed by student right and then open curly brace close curly brace which is nothing but definition of a class now inside this i'll take some student properties int roll number string student name float student height so one integer variable one string variable one float variable okay then i'll take some methods void accept method okay and then void display method right so in accept method we can accept the student data in display method we can display the student data okay right so this is nothing but a class so let us try to accept the student data let us say student data roll number is equals to 1001 name of the student is equals to sai okay so we have to give string in double quotations okay string is given in double quotes okay right and then height is equals to something like 6.0 f so here f indicates f indicates float value float data type value right so this is accept method we are accepting one student data next in display method we are going to display the student data so for displaying we use system dot out dot println okay so here we'll display something like student details okay right and then we'll take one more student dot out dot println and then we'll display the student data okay so first one is roll number okay plus plus is used for string concatenation display roll number here okay next similarly we can display name of the student okay so plus we can take it as s name and then we can also display the height height of the student which is height okay so we have taken a student class in this student class we have taken three properties roll number name height and we have taken two functionalities accepting student data and displaying student data so this is how we have to write a student class class miss model now for this okay class we can create any number of objects so for this student class we can 
create so class means model so for this single model we can create any number of objects okay right so now let us try to create a object fine so what is object okay so object is nothing but end product of a class but what is the definition so object is nothing but end product of a class class means model okay and this end model is used by customer this end model or end product is used by end customer so customers will use the product but what is the definition of the object technically so object is instance instance of a class okay so instance of a class which represents state and behavior of a class so object is nothing but instance of a class which represents state and behavior of a class okay right so here state and behavior so what is this instance what is this state what is this behavior let us try to understand this okay so here right so instance means one single unique unit so instance means one unique product one single unique unit okay one end product unique product instance means so similarly state means okay so state means data or properties so state means data members or we can also say properties properties of a class and next means behavior behavior means methods so methods means functionality so functionalities of a class so every object has a unique identity with state and behavior of a class okay right so how to create an object so how to create a object okay so to create an object we use new operator is used to create a object so how to use a new operator okay the syntax goes like this so we have two syntaxes first one class name followed by object name okay right and then assignment operator new class name right so example goes like this okay so class name student class s1 is the object next new student okay right so s1 is a reference variable here which will be pointing to actual object it will be pointing to actual object in memory so the actual object contains roll number okay next it will contain name next it will contain height properties okay it contains roll number name height so here s1 is called object reference variable okay so object reference variable means in memory s1 will be pointing to actual object what is the actual object contains roll number name height it is a reference to that actual object in memory okay so this is one way of creating the object right so the second way of creating the object goes like this 
class name object name declaration and then object name followed by assignment operator new class name so first declare the object declare the object okay so object means object name also you can say next create the object using new new operator okay so here in this case what we are doing is declaring and creating object using new new operator in single line in single line but here we are doing it in two separate lines okay so first student s1 okay then followed by s1 is equals to new student okay here we'll take s2 s2 student so this is how we have to create the object okay so once object is created we have to access class members with object okay so next step goes like this how to access class members with object okay so what do you mean by class members here so class members means data members plus methods okay right so for this we use dot operator for this we use dot operator So using dot operator, we can access the class members. So syntax goes like this, object name dot data members, okay? Or we can also write it like this, object name dot methods, okay? Right, so the example goes like this. Right, so object s1 dot accept. Okay. Right, and then s1 dot display. Okay, or we can also write it like this. For example, s2 is another object dot roll number is equals to 1002 next s2 dot s name is equals to something like ram next s2 dot height is equals to something like 5.9 f okay right and finally you can say s2 dot display it will display the student data on the console console means your output screen okay right now using this concept okay we are going to write one student class with main method okay so we'll write a program the program name will be student.java now in this program okay so define student class with objects in main method so main method is a starting point of execution of a java program okay right right so let us try to work with this example okay so take a new page in your notepad plus plus editor right so use this comment comment provides description of a program define student class with objects in main method next we have to take the student class so let us take this student class Roll number, name, height, accept method, and display method. Okay. Right. And then after the display method, we'll define public static void main string of orgs, which is a starting point of execution of a Java program. Right. So whatever is your class name, make sure that your main class name so student is a main class because it contains main method so main class name and program name should be same so save this program so we are going to save this program in our working directory which will be 
D colon. Okay, core Java programs, programs. Okay, so student dot Java. So student dot Java is the file extension. Okay, All right. So simply save this, and then now we have to compile and run this program. Okay, right. So after writing and saving the program. Okay, so finally compile and run the program. So compile and run the program. All right, so for compiling, the command goes like this Java C student.java. So if your program does not have any mistakes, bytecode is generated. So run the main class using Java command followed by student. Then you will get the output. Okay, right. So let us open the command prompt. Click on the start button. Type CMD. Open the command prompt. Okay, so go to your working directory here. D colon core Java programs under that programs folder. Okay, right. So CLS clear the screen compile the program using java c command so if a program does not have any mistakes then we'll get the byte code okay right so it is compiling the program so after successful compilation byte code is generated now run the byte code java followed by student no need to use dot class it is taken automatically so dot class is the extension for byte code right enter we did not get any output because we did not write anything inside the main method so let us create the object inside the main method so first object student s1 is equals to new student okay right so class name object name new student and then finally s1 dot accept method so s1 dot accept method means it will go to the accept method so when it goes to the accept method what happens so s1 dot roll number 1001 s1 dot name psi s1 dot height 6.0 f will be assigned to s1 object okay next say s1 dot display so when you say s1 dot display the control goes to the display method it will print student details and then s1 dot roll number s1 dot s name s1 dot height will be displayed okay so let us save this compile the program display method here we are supposed to keep the semicolon save it recompile and then run it so how to run it java student so these are the student one details 1001 psi 6.0 okay let us take another student details here so i'll take system dot out dot println okay here i'll put one new line character we'll get a space between student one details and student two details okay next here we'll say one more object student s2 another object so for single class we can create multiple objects and s2 is equals to new student i'm creating and declaring objects in two steps two lines after that s2 dot roll number i'll take it as 1002 s2 dot s name i'll take it as ram s2 dot Height. I'll take it as 5.9 F. So in the previous case, we have used S1 dot accept. So in S1 dot accept, directly we have the values 1001 psi 6.0 F will be assigned to S1. But here we are assigning the manu manually the values to S2 dot roll number, S2 dot name, S2 dot height, and finally say S2 dot display. So it will go to the display method from here okay so when it goes to the display method it will display now s2 details because s2 is calling the display method s2 dot roll number s2 dot s name s2 dot height right so let us save this 
second student data okay right so simply cls clear the screen use up arrow down arrow to get the previous command compile the program whenever we do changes save and recompile the program and rerun the program so this is student one details and this is student two details 1002 ram 5.9 so this is how we are supposed to work with class and object okay so finally we can say one small note point here it goes like this per for single student class okay we can create any number of objects okay any number of objects so any number of objects means s1 s2 s3 so on depending upon the number of students in the class okay so student is a collection of data members and methods s1 s2 s3 are instances of a class which represents state and behavior of a class so state means here variables roll number name height data members and methods means accept method or display method behavior of a student accepting the student detail and displaying the student detail right so that is what is all about in this video guys classes and objects in java programming thank you for watching this video do like and share this video have a nice day